So we're finally here, the last two tutorials for the intro programming series. Our final topic is arrays and loops. Now I've been thinking a long time about how to teach these because when I was in college learning this for the first time, this was when half my class dropped out. So I'm gonna do my best to try and make sense here. An array is just a variable that can hold multiple values. In our last video we gave death a sound effect. Every time it dies, it uses this sound effect to make noise. But let's say that we had five other explosion sounds. And we wanted it to choose between those five sounds each time we died. How would you do that? Well, a lot of beginners would make variables for each of the sounds. They would have variables like sound one, sound two, and sound three, and so on. But if you ever find yourself doing something like that, you really should consider using an array instead. Instead of making five different sound clip variables, you could make one sound clip array. Making an array is just like making a normal variable. The only difference is you add these. See that? Now you have an array. If you save and run the game now, you'll be able to see the array in the inspector and you'll be able to set its size. Now we have five sounds so we are gonna set its size to five and then drag each of our sound clips into the array. Awesome, so how do you use it? Well, it's easy. If you look in the inspector, you can see that Unity gives each item in the array a number. So if you wanted to use this sound, you would call array number three. If you wanted to use this sound, you would call array number one. But how do you make it randomly select one of the five? Again, Unity has an easy answer. This is the code to randomly choose a number in an array. So if you replace our number with this code, save and run the game, you will hear one of the five sounds in the array. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.